Hi, I'm Kamal Janardhan, General Manager for Workplace Intelligence at Microsoft 365. I'm going to talk to you about how we bring harmony to work and life in the current climate, with a focus on productivity and well-being in Microsoft Teams. The world has changed, and when companies across the globe were forced to shift how they worked overnight, millions of employees and teams made Herculean efforts to adapt. Our kitchens became boardrooms, our collaboration tools became lifelines, and our pets and children became our office mates. From frontline to knowledge workers, productivity, balance, and resilience took on new meaning. While these rapid responses helped people and organizations stay productive, meet customers' needs, and keep business moving, the juggle is real. We are recognizing that this breakneck adaptation requires a focus on people's well-being to be sustainable. According to a recent Qualtrics survey, more than 40% of individual contributors, managers, and C-level employees report decreased mental health and significantly lower lows. Nearly 70% report higher stress levels and well over half elevated levels of anxiety. COVID-19 has introduced possibilities we didn't think existed, disrupting long-held beliefs and norms. It was a lightning strike to work. We learned that if we could dramatically change the way we work when pushed, we can also reimagine work for the long term. Your business looks very different today than it did six months ago, and more uncertainty and change lie ahead. You've responded in the moment, but we also believe that now is your opportunity to build a more resilient business as you navigate recovery and plan for the future in a very different world. You will be looking at ways to redefine processes and become more efficient at providing value, throwing out ways of working that don't make sense in the new normal and evaluating ways to reinvent your business. It's your people who will be leading and managing through these changes and you will need their creativity to propel you into the future. Companies must therefore reimagine employee experience to ensure that the culture at work not only enables people to be innovative and productive, but also supports their well being so they can do their best work. That reimagining starts with insights. Visibility into current processes and ways of working across the org how people connect, collaborate, and spend their time working towards the outcomes you care about. Visibility into any barriers that keep you from quickly moving through change and bringing new value to market. And finally, visibility into how people are adapting and managing along the way. The challenge is identifying and quantifying ways of working across the org and then understanding how people, teams, and your business are affected. Even more difficult is measuring the cultural aspects of work, the things that inspire innovation, encourage a growth mindset, and accelerate change. Things like empowerment, connectedness, engagement, and influence. Microsoft has a solution. We are unlocking the power of the Microsoft Graph to help companies understand how work gets done, empowering them to explain and predict the impact of day-to-day -day actions on the outcomes they care about and the well-being of their people. To embark together on a path to recover and grow and plan for a reimagined future. We've been bringing these insights to you, our customers, through workplace analytics and my analytics. And now we're doubling down to bring these experiences to Microsoft Teams with a focus on our commitment to well being with some new features I'll be sharing with you. We're excited to bring experiences that will harmonize productivity and well being into the Teams Canvas, where our customers connect, collaborate, and get work done every day. I'd like to start with the personal insights experience in Teams. Before the massive shift to remote work, people's commutes could create space 
to help them prepare for and then wind down from their day. Lunches or travel time between meetings presented the opportunity to take mental breaks. Recognizing this, we're introducing a new virtual commute experience to help you have a productive start in the morning and mindfully disconnect in the evening. Let me show you how I plan to leverage this. As a working parent, it's important for me to carve out time and give my full attention to my daughter every evening. However, when I'm heads down having a hectic day at work, in back-to-back -back meetings, trying to stay caught up with all the emails, chats, and tasks piling up, it can be easy to lose track of time. Once I've set up my virtual commute, this helpful reminder will pop up near the end of my workday and it will guide me through a series of activities that I've selected to best help me close out my day. First, task management helps me add pending tasks to my to-do list for tomorrow. This frees up valuable mental space for my evening. I also look back and celebrate all that I got done that day. This enables me to engage with my family with the right mindset. Next, this reflection experience will help me pause and reflect on how I feel about my day and to see patterns over time. I can use this to ask colleagues I work with daily how they felt at the end of their days. And we can together harness our emotional intelligence to improve the effectiveness of our day-to-day -day interactions. This is particularly key at this time when we cannot be co-located. We have found that ending your day on this note strikes the right balance to allow you to be most productive for the following day. And then here is my favorite part. This seamlessly integrates with mindfulness apps like Headspace, so I can easily tap into a guided meditation session as part of my commute. This way, when I step out of my home office, I am fully present with my family. I can also use this anytime during my day to create those cognitive breathers that we know can be very short, but are so essential for deep thought and well-being. The virtual commute, task management, reflection, and mindfulness experience I just showcased are key examples of personal well-being insights coming to Microsoft Teams in the first half of 2021. These provide much needed structure for a remote workday to help all of us carve out time for cognitive breathers, reduce burnout, and improve our well-being. And much sooner than that, starting in October 2020, you'll see personal productivity insights that have been previously available in other experiences being brought to Microsoft Teams in first release. These are targeted at helping you create and protect time for the people and tasks that are most important. This experience will make it seamless to schedule one-on-ones to catch up with important people in your network, schedule focus time for deep work or learning, and intelligently surface communications that might require your follow-up. These key insights, such as suggested tasks from prior emails and documents, are also available in your Outlook inbox. We want to help you prepare for the day's meetings at the start of your day with the daily briefing email from Cortana. This will be generally available in English starting in September 2020. This will appear automatically in your Outlook inbox near the start of your workday. It will provide intelligent, actionable recommendations of documents for you to review ahead of the day's meetings. It will look at pending requests or commitments from prior emails that you may want to follow up on. It gives you one click to reduce focus time during your workday for the uninterrupted focus work with Teams notifications silenced. This is configurable at a user and a tenant level, and most importantly, it is personal and private to you based on the data you already have access to. Now, while I deeply value these personal well-being capabilities, I, as a leader, am also very focused on the productivity and experience of my team. Business leaders have less visibility into what's happening with their people in today's environment. Our organizational insights offer a window into what's happening with the business and the people who make it run. What you're seeing here is organizational insights for a leader within the app canvas of Teams. 
have, for example, is employee collaboration changing? Are remote meetings hitting the right balance between inclusion and effectiveness? Are the boundaries in the day being protected in a way that support well-being and therefore productivity? Here, I can see very quickly which teams may be isolated and have poor team cohesion. I can then leverage best practices to break down these barriers and create the right information flows and alignment across the company. This builds a sense of community and shared purpose along the way that is especially key at the current time. Looking at this, I see that more than half of the teams in our organization aren't collaborating effectively across areas and hierarchies. So I click best practices to learn more. These best practice recommendations provide me ways to strengthen those connections. I can schedule an informal gathering achieved by an ad hoc call or an informal short meeting. I can leverage the personal network view that every Microsoft 365 user has access to through my analytics. Here, I can configure who I want to stay in touch with and the actions I can take. And finally, I can leverage Microsoft Teams to enable that synchronous connection that we previously got when we walked by someone's office or desk. I can also see how an increase of after hours work or total hours worked in a week can indicate a risk to well being and long term productivity for my company. I can identify an opportunity to encourage best practices for my managers with regard to one on ones and coaching opportunities for teams to help people navigate this change and disruption. Data has shown us that employees who have regular manager one on ones have fewer after hours as they are better able to prioritize and manage their time. And that those small one on ones and meetings are key to preventing isolation and decrease productivity. I can see if the challenge to having these one on ones is because overloaded or double booked managers need help themselves to enable speed and agility through empowerment. These and additional insights around employee engagement, manager effectiveness and meeting culture have helped leaders keep a pulse on their business, providing insight into how work is happening and the impact on employee well-being in the current climate. These insights are invaluable for a leader who has purview of the entire organization. But we recognize that it is also key to provide these to managers who want to leverage the same for their teams. The manager can act as a life preserver during a time of disruption and change. And it is also the key place in an organization where transformation can happen. To enable this, we are bringing those leader insights scoped appropriately to managers also to the team's canvas. What you're seeing here is a manager view of an insight into a team's one-on-one -on -one time. I, as a manager, get visibility into the one-on-one -on -one time of my team, as well as comparative metrics for other teams of a similar size and function. We recognize that the insights are not good or bad. And to allow a manager to understand what action we need to take, we provide the context for the organization. We do this while preserving the privacy of all teams and individuals and showing aggregate data. Here, I get a view of how my team's after hours work compares to the after hours work of other teams like me. And I can assess whether this is a challenge or indicative of a flexible schedule that my team appreciates. Similarly, I can get insight into my team's meeting culture to evaluate how much time we spend in long or large meetings into communication channels and patterns to see whether my team relies primarily on email or Teams conversations. And finally, their available time to focus, which helps me as a manager know where to encourage and model best practices for more productive collaboration. As with leader insights, I can also see supporting research, which allows me to train me and my managers on best practices. This then becomes a conduit to driving learning into my organization. Here, I clicked on coaching and development to get additional insight and find this document, which were written by behavioral scientists within our team, that provides tips and suggestions to be a more effective manager. Or I can also find suggestions to help boost engagement and other best practices for challenge areas. 
And finally, the power of these insights is when we enable organizations to act, help a leader understand which groups are the hardest hit and which group would most benefit from organizational nudges, for example, around one-on-ones or new meeting norms. Here, you can see a way where a manager can deploy a plan to their team. We will be bringing the ability for managers to launch plans to help their teams collaborate more effectively, master their time, and create healthy work-life balance, which already exists in the Workplace Analytics app, to the team's experience. I've talked a bit about the great insights and scenarios around organizational resilience and productivity to support individual manager and leaders in your organization. Now I'd like to talk about how for many of our large customers, this is just the starting point in their journey. We recognize that for companies of certain size and complexity, deep customization and flexible querying is essential to finding insights and actions appropriate for them. The Workplace Analytics Workbench and Flexible Query Engine allows you to generate customized insights tailored to your specific business challenge available through the Workplace Analytics app and Power BI dashboards. Pairing this data with other sources, such as employee engagement data or CRM is key. As an example, survey data helps organizations understand how work-life balance, workload, autonomy, and empowerment influence employee engagement. CRM data similarly maps sales behaviors with pipeline health, quota attainment, and close rates, enabling organizations to replicate successful ways of working across their entire organization. Our customers, and we at Microsoft, have used workplace analytics to plan better workspaces, to optimize key business processes, and improve sales outcomes. It has helped us understand the factors that lead to more engaged and successful employees, and it continues to be a key part of how we respond to the current world and reimagine our business. As an example of a scenario that one of our customers leveraged to drive business outcomes, a head of sales came to us wanting to know whether they could raise quota attainment by learning from their most productive sales representatives and replicating their success. Our customer then matched workplace analytics data with internal quota attainment data and identified the collaboration signals closely correlated with quota attainment success. Among other findings, they identified that compared to their peers, the most successful sellers spent two and a half more hours with customers each week and actively worked on eight fewer accounts, but had 3x more regular contact within those accounts and had substantially larger internal networks. Conventional wisdom points to the fact that the more time you spend with a customer, the better the returns. However, the insights which were unexpected was that deeper engagement with a smaller set of accounts and a very rich internal network was also a contributor. These findings help them uncover which behaviors drove sales success in their organization. And by sharing these with their full sales team, they then enabled all their representatives to learn from their top performing peers. This customer used these findings to develop a new selling model with a business outcome that resulted in a $200 million plus sales lift. It is scenarios like these that we want to help our customers respond to the current climate and reimagine their business. Last but not the least, we are bringing the value of organizational insights to our IT and digital transformation partners. We heard your ask, and in response, we're bringing these into the productivity score experience to help it go beyond usage data. So previously, if we were asking questions like, how many people use email, or how many users does Yammer have? We have now brought insights that allow you to get to the next level through the business continuity report. 
This report provides visibility into how people in your organization are adapting to new ways of remote work and working over time. First, you can see how weekly collaboration hours have shifted over time. And you can see how that shift may be impacting employee well-being due to that after hours collaboration. Within Microsoft, in the early days of the pandemic, we saw a significant increase of Teams collaboration and the possibility of an entire extra day of Teams collaboration work among our employees. In addition to understanding the tools and technology used for remote meetings, you'll also see how the complexion of these meetings changes over time. Here at Microsoft, we saw something we call the rise of the 30 minute meetings, where meetings that were short and ad hoc often took the place of those in-person quick conversations. These insights allow you, our customer, to introduce and encourage the right best practices for your organization and also drive focus and actionability to the kind of meeting and the agenda of the meeting. Another risk with remote work is where people feel isolated, which affects engagement and eventually productivity. And what we're providing within Productivity Score through the Business Continuity Report is visibility into the cohesiveness of teams over time that indicates how that sense of community and belonging is evolving over time. As an example, prior to the pandemic, we saw dips in employee activity during lunch or early in the morning and at the end of the day when people connected. Those dips have largely flattened out as people continue to collaborate over teams or continue to work through their lunch hour. Driving behaviors around informal breaks can improve this particular insight. For these insights, we aim to provide recommendations that help balance this productivity and well being as they continue to evolve over time. As described before, encouraging one on ones with important collaborators encouraging employees to grow their networks with MyAnalytics and staying connected through Teams or through Yammer communities can all help foster a sense of belonging and shared purpose while simultaneously improving the quality of collaboration and employee outcomes. The Business Continuity Report is available to all of our Microsoft 365 customers through Productivity Score. I encourage all of you to take a look at the insights for your organization and share those insights with other partners or leaders within your business. And of course, give us your feedback. How does all of this work? Microsoft 365 captures the largest graph of human activity and interactions at work ever created. When people use collaboration tools like email, chat, or calendar, they leave behind a digital footprint that is a natural byproduct of their activities at work. This is part of an ecosystem that you already know and trust. And as a Microsoft 365 service, it sits within your trust boundaries with privacy safeguards and protections for all individuals. You are in control of your data. Combining this information with organizational context and other relevant data, such as employee engagement scores, sales performance, or other business outcomes, we enable you to pinpoint successful work patterns and norms that lead to the outcomes you care about. It is more important than ever to ensure that individuals, teams and organizations are engaged and empowered to do their best work. You have a wealth of untapped data at your fingertips that can reveal insights about the way your people work and their impact on your business. Microsoft continues to be a leader in compliance, security and privacy safeguards to ensure that your business is protected. Our privacy settings allow you to express your organization privacy policies so you are in complete control over how the data is used. Customers can control the population scope and the data that workplace analytics consumes. The minimum population size requirements protect the privacy of individuals, and we are also happy to announce differential privacy as a key element of ensuring that you can understand organizational context, 
without revealing any information that is private to an individual or a team. Differential privacy is a sophisticated form of data aggregation, and the first application in workplace analytics is within Insights for People Managers. It gives you the ability to extract useful insights from data sets containing personal information, while at the same time offering the strongest possible privacy protections. It works by adding statistical noise to the data sets. And this noise ensures that no individual identity can be established with any certainty. But the noise is small enough that the analysis is still accurate and useful. Differential privacy protects an individual's information as if their information were not used in the analysis at all. And it masks the contribution of any single individual, but allows an organizational leader to infer the aggregate for the betterment of the business. Tying together all of the value that we've talked about, I am happy to share with you our roadmap. Starting in October 2020, we will be providing you a team's experience for staying connected and booking focus time. Looking ahead, we will bring to you the virtual commute and the meditation app integrations with Headspace, as well as the emotional check-in and other well-being capabilities. We will also be providing you with the leader and manager experiences in the context of teams with benchmarks like Teams with You, all based on differential privacy. And finally, the business continuity report, which is available to all of our IT admins and tech leaders, will be a precursor for the organizational insights that will become broadly available with industry benchmarks in the time ahead. Our developer extensibility and third party app connectors allow you then to personalize and customize this data for your organization's needs. Thank you for your time. It's been a pleasure to share these upcoming features with you. My ask to you would be to install the Teams app as it comes out in October 2020 and send us your feedback because we thrive on it. And also, if you're interested to learn more about workplace analytics, please reach out to your account manager and we would be delighted to set up a workshop to go deep to understand what your data can do for you and your business. Thank you.